back to English class. This is fourth part of the chapter, The Literary Girl, okay, in which I will continue from paragraph number 10. What I will do if I have a nightmare? She became fearful. She got frightened of thinking about the nightmare. Okay. I often have nightmares, bad dreams. Nightmares means what? Bad dreams. Fearful dream. And then really take me into her bed. I can't stay in the dark. It all is wishfully. And what did she speak to? Who? That who? Alice? She started, she started telling to the cook, like, I can't stay alone in this room. I can't stay in this dark. Because she often has nightmares. She always has nightmares. She got frightened. And she denied to sleep alone. Next, next moment, what happens? You just go to sleep, child, said Alice. And Alice just softly tried to make her understand. Don't worry, beta. You just go and sleep. Everything will be all right. Pulling off her socks and don't you scream and wake your poor father. Actually, her grandmother, Kisa's grandmother and her own mother were shifted into the hospital because Kisa's mother was not good. She was admitted in the hospital, but at home there was her father. And her father was a very fearful figure for her. So, Alice made her understand don't think much better, just take rest and don't scream at night and if you feel any, uh, if you face any problem, just call your father, just wake up your father. But the same old nightmare came. Finally, she slept, but she started dreaming. She saw again bad dream. The same old nightmare, nightmare came. Most of the time she used to see what a butcher, Kasai is called. Again she saw the same dream. She saw that the butcher with a knife, a chaku kisa and a rope came near and near smiling, a full smile. He came with a rope and a knife towards her while she could not move and in dream she was unable to move, she was unable to run away and could only stand still crying out Grand mom and in the dream only when she got frightened very much she started shouting Grandma, Grandmother, Dadi Mom Jaysse aap bhi kabhi sakhne dekhte ho to aap kya hoda? Aap bhi dar jate ho, chilla ne lag jate ho The same thing happened with this this little girl came she up. She started shouting, Daddy Ma, Green Ma. She woke, she came to see fire beside her bed and candle in his hand. What's the matter? He said. And when she opened her eyes, she saw her father next to her, near her bed. Oh, a butcher, a knife. I want granny. And she said to her father, I saw a very, you know, cruel butcher who, whose work is to cut the animals with a knife. I need my grandma. Papa, I'm looking for my daddy. He blew out the candle, ran down and caught up the child in his, in his arms, carrying her along the passage to the big bedroom. A newspaper was on the bed, half a small cigar was near the reading lamp. He put away the paper, threw the cigar into the fireplace, then carefully tucked up the child. He lay down beside her, half asleep still, 
still with the Ruja smile all about her in same way. She crept close to him, snuggled her head under his arm held tightly to his shirt. Then the dark did not matter, she lay still. Here, rub your feet against my legs and give them warm safety. Then father just took that baby, that little baby Kezia in his arm and he took away Kezia into her, into his own room. And he just slept beside her, beside his daughter, beside Kezia. And he started pampering her and he also advised Kezia to rub her feet against his legs in order to get them warm. He told Kezia to keep his feet with me so that you will feel quite comfortable. And the girl felt finally very much comfortable along with her father and she just hugged tightly. She just, she just clasped his t-shirt very tightly, her father's t-shirt. Then it didn't matter. Now there was no darkness. Darkness. Then the dark did not matter. अब फिर अंधेरा उसके लिए कुछ भी नहीं था because he had no father. I'm going to read the last paragraph. Tired out, he slept before the little girl. He slept before the little girl. A funny feeling came over her. Poor father, not so big after all, and with no one to look after him. He was harder and grandmother, but. It was a nice hardness. Finally, she realized in the morning like her father was not so bad as she used to think about him. Finally, she realized that her father loved her very much like the Mr. McDonald or the like other fathers. And every day he had to work and was too tired to be a Mr. McDonald. She had torn up all his beautiful writings. She stared suddenly and sighed. What's the matter? Asked her father. Another dream? Oh, said the little girl. My head's on your heart. I can hear it going. What's a big heart you have got, father dear? And next morning, when she got up early in the morning, She realized everything. She realized the great love of her father. And finally, she failed the strong bond between the daughter and the father. And that it was, next morning she was very happy. And she just appreciated her father. And she said, what a big heart you have, my dear father. Mere piyare papa. I can listen your heartbeat. Because he slept the entire night on his heart. Uske yaha pe wo so gai thi. Tilkul dil pe yaha pe apna sar rakh ke so gai thi. So, finally she was very happy. And she understood that her father also loved her very much. So, this was all about this story. Hope you have enjoyed very much this story. And you will have a relate to yourself. Okay. So thank you very much for listening to me so carefully. In next class, I will send you question and answer.